Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and we're going to be talking about Lamar Jackson as the Ravens have been eliminated. I think it's fair, you know, to be talking about what's going to be happening with Lamar Jackson. And um, as, uh, you know, we get closer to offseason type for some of these teams that have been eliminated. Um, yes, there might be eight NFL teams that are still alive. Or wait, no, not eight. There's... Yeah, eight in each conference. So there, yes, there might be sixteen teams in. Well, right now seventeen because we we still have one wild card game. Um, but yes, there might be uh, you know about half of the NFL um, left alive in this playoff in this playoff environment, which doesn't sound no, that doesn't sound right. No, yeah, I got it right. We have there's nine teams left. Okay, I had it right the first time. So there's. So, yeah, there's nine teams left, and eventually tomorrow night, by the end of tomorrow night, there will be eight teams left in this pl- in, in these playoffs, which would mean 24 teams had been eliminated. Wait, yeah, 24. 20, uh, I'm pretty sure 24. 32. There's 32 teams in the NFL, um, and 32. Yeah, so 24. Um, so in that case... Um, and the Ravens are one of those teams that have been eliminated tonight, losing to the Bengals twenty four to seventeen. What happens with Lamar Jackson? I don't. I don't think what we witnessed at the end of the season with Lamar Jackson not playing and not playing tonight, that just didn't seem right to me. And I just don't see Lamar Jackson returning. I don't at all. Um, there's many reasons. He wants a new contract. I don't think. I don't think they can really work out everything he wants. He doesn't have any good wide receivers. I mean, I like Rashad Bateman. I think Rashad Bateman's a decent wide receiver. But he, they, besides that, they don't have anybody that special uh, besides Mark Andrews, who's their tight end. And I just – I think Lamar probably wants to change. And and when you see the title, you're probably th- – and, and it says trade, you're probably thinking trade. Lamar Jackson's a free agent. Now, the Ravens are el- eligible to franch- t- franchise tag him. Um, in that case where I'm thinking this is going to be kind of like Devontae Adams with the Packers last offseason. We saw the Packers, what did they do off last offseason? They didn't have the intentions to keep Devontae Adams, but they franchise tagged him and traded him. And then the Raiders signed him to an extension. That's what I see happening with Lamar Jackson. I see Lamar getting franchise tagged, then traded, and then whoever he is traded to, that team signing him to a new deal um so yeah um now i'm gonna t- i'm gonna list some teams that i see in the lamar hunt um and people say dolphins i don't see it happening and here's why um the dolphins if lamar if lamar would be a free agent and the ravens didn't franchise tag him the dolphins are a candidate the Dolphins have a shot, but I don't think the Ravens are just going to let Lamar walk. They might let him go, but I don't think they're going to let him walk. Um, in that case, the Dolphins are without a first-round pick this year, forfeited, um, because basically, you know, some decisions, bad decisions they made. I can't even remember why they lost their pick. I think it was something with Brian Flora, Ryan, Brian Flora, Flores, um, a bunch of things that had to do with. Uh, some of the owner stuff, I think. Um, but they they lost their first overall pick. I think it was they they had the twenty second or eighteenth. If they were, n- n- it wouldn't never lost their pick. They don't have a first round pick this year. And you know you're probably thinking, and I don't even know if they do. The, you're probably thinking, oh, they have a two thousand twenty four first round pick. I think right now the Ravens, personally, I think that right now if I'm the Ravens, I'm looking for a pick now. I want a first-run pick for 2023 because if I'm the Ravens, if I'm getting rid of Lamar, I'm going to dra- I'm gonna be drafting a quarterback in this draft. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that if I, if I am them, I am drafting a quarterback in this draft. Um, you know, I, I think your expectations, I think you would know you wouldn't be able to get C.J. Stroud. I think you know that – that's a unlikely chance, but I think that they could possibly go and get someone else. Um, I've seen Anthony Richardson, who's the Florida quarterback. I've seen him in the first round. I could see he's he's a quarterback who you know has played a little bit like Le- Lamar. I could see the Ravens going after him. They have the twenty third overall pick. They can definitely do it. 
But I, I just think that the Ravens right now, they won a 2023 first-round pick. And the Dolphins, they don't have that. I, but unless if Lamar's a free agent, I can see the Dolphins being a candidate. Um, now the Jets. The Jets. Man, I could see the Jets being a team that can um, that can for sure go after uh, Lamar Jackson. I think, you know, that's that's a top two favor right there to, to land Lamar Jackson. Um I, I I think that that would be a, that would be a great candidate right there, um, and I think that Lamar would you know he would fit perfect in New York. He has some good weapons. He has Garrett Wilson going into second year. I think Garrett Wilson is a really underrated wide receiver in this league. Um, possibly maybe add in someone else. Possibly you add in either you know, maybe like a guy like Brandon Cooks or Michael Thomas to help. Um, Lamar Jackson, or you bring in someone else, I don't know, you know, like a secondary trade, not, you wouldn't have to give up much, maybe like a, you know, like a, you know, like a six or fourth round pick, you have to give up something for a decent wide receiver, decent number two. Um, and then you have Corey Davis as your number three wide receiver, have a good slot wide receiver and Braxton Berrios, um, have some decent tight ends. I think Lamar Jackson would like it there. You know, he also has a excellent running back that is returning and for his season two in Brees Hall I mean I think a lot of people forget about how good of a season Brees Hall was having earlier in the season before he tore his ACL um that was one of the reasons why the Jets were so good earlier in the season was Brees Hall and how good he was for their offense um and Brees Hall made Zach Wilson look like a better quarterback didn't he um and Brees when Brees Hall got hurt that's when Zach Wilson started to play like crap um so i think the jets they're 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 an option um i don't see this happening but a place i'd love to see lamar jackson is seattle um in this case um i i would see the the ravens getting the fifth overall pick i know that sounds crazy not lamar straight up for the fifth overall pick i have i would have the seahawks uh, receiving Lamar Jackson and the 23rd overall pick, and then the Ravens received the fifth overall pick. And then with that fifth overall selection, they select Will Levies to be their franchise QB. Um, that's what I would have that being if they were to do that trade. Um, and then, you know, one of my final teams I have potentially going after Lamar is, oh, I mean, I almost said, yeah, I almost said Oakland there, um, is Las, the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, you know, they're a team that is, they're a team that they need this. They need a quarterback like this. And and that's why I could possibly see the Raiders, you know, being willing to to give something up for Lamar. And um the Raiders right now sitting at 7 with the draft. Um personally, I see the um the Raiders um drafting the I mean sorry. Personally, I see the Raiders, you know, they need a quarterback. They need a quarterback bad. They have Devontae Adams, who they're not going to trade. Um, I think they've already said they're not going to be trading Devontae Adams this offseason. So I think, you know, Lamar Jackson is the best available quarterback for them right now. And um, right now they're sitting at seven in the draft. Um, I don't think you give up straight up seven for uh, straight ups. You get, I don't think you give the Ravens the seventh overall pick for Lamar. Um, but I do have this, you know, you know, I guess, you know, pot potential trade. Um, so potentially the Ravens would receive the seventh overall pick and Derek Carr and the Ravens would receive Lamar Jackson and the 23rd overall pick. Um, you know, possibly other picks, like maybe lower picks, like fourth rounder, or maybe six rounder is added for either team. I don't know. That's, you know, just I'm thinking like the main details. Um, mainly, I think, you know, I think that in this scenario where it's either the Seahawks or the or the Raiders, um, the Ravens are in chance to draft Will Le- Levis um, from Kentucky. Um, now, I, I think that I don't think that the – I don't I personally I don't think that the Ravens would want to you know hand the job straight to Will um I think that the Ravens would want a veteran QB to start the season and who better than Derek Carr and I don't know if I see I I think I could see Derek Carr you know possibly being the starter the whole year for the Ravens and then this is just a possibility I mean I'm this is not a prediction I just think this is a possibility maybe the Ravens you know 
do that trade, you receive Derek Carr, you receive um you receive then you receive Derek Carr, you see the seventh overall pick. You have a veteran QB next year, rookie QB. Um I don't think that is is likely. Um I don't think that will happen, but I, I think there's a chance it could. I, I don't know. I think that Lam- this Lamar trade is a very tricky thing to understand. And the, the fact that you, we don't know if he'll be traded or signed, I think most likely Lamar will be traded because you have the fact of, you know, um, you just have the fact of they could franchise tag him, then trade him. Or, or technically they could just franchise tag him and and and, and play him in 2023 but the thing is is reports is that lamar jackson does does want to move on and go to a different team then who knows maybe he requests his trade and wants out uh, then the ravens would be you know kind of forced to trade him but i think that i think it could be really interesting right now my top three spots for lamar to land right now and where i think you know best odds for lamar to and uh, land um i think that you know, I think if it's up to Lamar, um, I think he's gonna want to go to Miami. That that would be the place I think he would want. I think that I would think that would be the place he wants to go, um, just because you know the weapons there, uh, Jalen Waddle and and Tyreek Hill. I mean, that's the best wide receiver duo in the NFL. Arguably the best duo wide receiver duo in the NFL. Uh, just the question is, is if 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 it's a trade, I don't know. Maybe the Ravens are accepting, you know, first round picks after 2023. I was just thinking maybe the the Ravens wanted maybe wanting first round picks this year so they can draft a QB, or you know, possibly maybe are the Ravens gonna you know tank next year and possibly try to get the first overall pick for Caleb Williams. I don't know. I think that the Ravens are in in. And with with their coach with John Harbaugh, I just don't see him being a guy who's gonna want to be the worst team in the NFL. I think he's gonna he's gonna want to compete next season. And I think that um, I think that there is a chance Lamar Jackson can return, but I highly doubt it. And it's gonna be really interesting to see where Lamar ja- Lamar Jackson ends up this off season. Um, whether it's the you know whether it's the Jets or it's the Dolphins or it's the Seahawks or the Ra- or the it's the Raiders. There's other teams that could possibly sneak in and and steal LeBron Lamar, uh, Lamar Jackson from the Ravens. I don't know. I think that over the next you know month and a half, this should be a really interesting thing to um, pan out in the NFL where Lamar Jackson ends up. Um, if if you know if he ends up anywhere maybe he ends up back in 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 Baltimore who knows um that's it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed let me know your thoughts on uh, Lamar Jackson where you think he should go um I mean the trade idea I mean I, I'm I'm totally I have no idea I think that this is going to be one of the craziest things this off season. Out of many things, I mean, this you got Tom Brady being a free agent. You got so many other things this off season. This is going to be a blockbuster off season. It's going to be a crazy off season. You got the Sean Payton coming back to the NFL. I think he'll be going to the Chargers. I don't know. This is one of the craziest off seasons in a while. Um, it's going to be a really fun one. That's Aaron Rodgers' decision. There's so much things that are going to be happening. This offseason, possibly DeAndre Hopkins being traded. The list goes on and on. That's really it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and peace out.